Hello there, people of God. Blessings to you. What's happening? This is Pastor Ben Lim here. Listen, we're almost in December time. It is Thanksgiving weekend still. I hope you're gobbling till you're wobbling. Blessings to you. Give me some hearts, likes, share. I'm excited to share this prophetic word of the month. You know, we're about to enter into December. It's pretty much a new month. So uh, I have this word to share with y'all. Uh, it seems like I've been away from Facebook and doing media, social media for a minute. But I want you to give some hearts, likes, and do share, share, share. Let me know where you are watching from. Once again, share is the key word. So praise God. Let me know if you hear me well. Give me some hearts and likes if you see me, if you hear me well. Hallelujah. Zakarabandike Raburoko. Zandarabanda Handike Rabruska. Rabandike Rabanda Ramandi Kandaris Karabruska Bandike. Robosh Karabroska Bande. Lisa Vio. Hello Maria. Blessings to you. Hey there, Kelly. Blessings. Laura, blessings. Cassie, hello, blessings. Child of Most High, blessings to you. Woo, shut up. From Cleveland, Ohio. Thank you, Laura. Kelly, Panther. Hello there, Juan, brother Juan. Blessings to you. It's Pastor Ben here. Blessings to you. I have a word to share with you today uh, concerning uh, the word for the month of November, uh, December. Although we are on November 27th. Praise God. I want to give you the prophetic word of the month for December. Amen. We're literally uh, four days away uh, till December 1st, till December. So I thought we'd be ahead. Amen. So praise God. Let me know where you're watching from. Give some hearts and likes and do share, share, share. And uh, and in a minute, I'm going to go into the word for the month. Amen. Rava kara busu toro monte ki era brusca banda kandere di risca la brusca banda ki era brondo. Hello, other Tina blessings. Share 20 groups on my program. Wow, you only shared on 20? Only 20 groups? <laughs> Woo! Share a brother, 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 brother. Robos Karabrabas Karamande Kande. Yeah. Hallelujah. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We love you. We worship you, Lord. Blessed be your name. And I thank for everybody here today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, everybody, before I start, I want to give you uh, two announcements or three announcements. Okay. Let me give you some uh, announcements real quick. Okay. Uh, first announcement. Uh, is I'm doing uh, five days to Hanukkah miracles. Okay, I'm doing uh, I'm doing a new uh, Facebook challenge uh, called Five Days to Hanukkah Miracles. I don't know Alana or Ivana if you could uh, post that for me, but I'm doing a new challenge uh, Facebook challenge uh, very soon called Five Days of Hanukkah Miracles. Okay, and that's what I'm going to talk about uh, today for the prophetic word of the month. But uh, I, I want to uh, welcome you. I want to invite you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, also, and that's going to be powerful because this is a month of miracles. Okay, someone say miracles. Okay, do you still believe uh, that Jesus is the God of miracles? He's the God of the supernatural. Amen. And I also, uh, our second announcement is um, we're doing a conference in Hawaii. Someone say Hawaii. Okay, we're doing a conference in Hawaii. Uh, Darley or somebody from the team, if you can uh, just uh, pay, uh, post that, if you can share that. But we're doing a conference in Hawaii, literally in one week's time. This is going to be incredible. It's going to be myself, Chad Dedman, David, and Stephanie Herzog. Okay, we're going into Hawaii. It's my third year in a row doing this year-end conference. The hunger is great. The people in Hawaii, we probably have more than 10 churches right now in the islands of Hawaii, in the state, the kingdom of Hawaii, that are saying we're hungry for this. So I feel like this is going to be the most important and the biggest, uh, greatest year-end conference we've had in Hawaii. So we invite you there. So if somebody can just share the link there as well. So end the year. Consider ending 2020 with us in Hawaii. Okay. Come on. Who needs a vacation? Who wants to go to Hawaii? All right. You don't need to uh, you don't need to quarantine right now, but you do need to take a test before landing. Okay. So we're going by the word of the Lord. And uh, come on, people. The Hawaiian people are incredible. The kingdom of Hawaii. Amen. So come and join us. Consider ending the year with us in Hawaii. And the third 
announcement I have for you before I go into the word of the month for December. Amen. The third announcement I have is we're doing something called the 21 days of prayer to 2021. Okay. We're doing a 21 day prayer campaign uh, to end 2020 and to give you prophetic words into the new year for 2021. All right. So that's going to be awesome. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, admin, for posting. All right. What you got to do, you got to pin it, darling. You got to pin it there, okay? All right. Well, praise God. Let me go into the word of the month for December. Someone say hallelujah. Rabaka. Lord, I pray right now in the name of Jesus. Rabande Zabata. There's such an expectation. Someone say expectation. There is such an expectation. Woo! For the things of God. So I'm saying amen. And I want to tell you, as I've been telling you, you're about to end 2020 with a big bang. You will end this year with a recompense, with bags full. You will end this year in a better, higher, more glorious way than how you entered in and how you started. Amen. I know 2020 has been a year of lots of unknowns and shakings and suddenlies. But uh, this month of December, this last month, hear me now. December is the 12th month of the year. What does 12 stand for? 12 stands for government and kingdom. There's 12 disciples, 12 tribes, 12 months, 12, uh, 12 uh, hours in a clock. So 12 uh, gates, all right, 12 stones. So 12 stands for government and kingdom. So December is going to be a month of government and kingdom. It's going to be a month of governmental glory and kingdom blessings. Someone say amen. Governmental glory and kingdom blessings. Okay, so December is an incredible month. We we all know, of course, we celebrate Christmas. But did you know that Jesus was actually not born in the month of December? Okay. Jesus was not born in Christmas time, in, in the Christmas time, of course. Uh, and, you know, this is, I'm not going to really go into the paganism of Christmas. But I believe that God still uses Christmas. God still uses this month, okay? I remember when I lived in China, okay? Uh, when I lived in India, Christmas was such an important time to evangelize and to share the gospel with people, okay? It's not just about materialism. It's not just about franchising. It's not just about, you know, uh, gifts and material blessings. It's not about that. But it really is about Jesus. It's about family. But I'm telling you, you're going to close and finish 2020 with a big bang in the name of Jesus. Someone say amen. And it's beautiful to see, again, what's happening in the stock markets, okay? Listen, I prophesy about the stock markets all the time because that's how God uh, has, has caused me to operate, okay? It's caused me to function. I prophesy into businesses. I prophesy into regions. I prophesy into the nation of America, into the stock market, the economy, the wealth of God's people. So I'm saying amen, okay? And uh, it's incredible what God's doing in the stock market. And the Lord told me, he said, get ready for a big boom and a boomerang and skyrocketing in the stock market, even in the month of December. Amen, okay? So I'm saying amen. So I'm saying I'll receive it. And of course, just a few days ago, the Dow uh, hit 30,000. It's the highest number that it's ever reached in American history. So it is a season, as I posted, uh, as I prophesied in the beginning of the year, as as it was posted on the Elijah list and many other prophetic forums, that 2020 is a year where world records will be broken. I want to tell you right now, you are going to break some records, even in this month of December. Some say amen. Even in the month of December, you're about to break some records. Some say amen. All right, give me some hearts and likes here, people of God, and do share, share. And, um, and of course, one of the words that the Lord gave me recently is that Christmas is coming early this year. Okay, Christmas. Someone say Christmas is coming early this year. Once again, <clears throat> Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, was not born this month, okay? He was born in the, in the time of Sukkot, or the time of the Feast of Tabernacles, which was right around uh, October time. Um, and so theologians and scholars believe that Jesus was born in the Feast of Sukkot, of Tabernacles, not in December, Christmas time. 
Okay? But still, we celebrate and we love Jesus. It's all good. All right? Don't get your panties in, in a rough, right? Uh, don't get it twisted. All right? Jesus was born in Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles. According to prophecy, according to him and his cousin John the Baptist being born. Okay? That time frame difference. Okay? And uh, so, but still... I believe Christmas has come early. Someone say it with me. Christmas is coming early this year. Christmas is coming early this year. What does that mean? The Father is a giver of gifts. He's the Father of life. He loves to give gifts. So gifts are being released. Mantles are being deposited. God is releasing His blessings. Things are coming down like snow, like rain, like never before. In the name of Jesus. So blessings are coming down. In the name of Jesus. All right? So Christmas is coming early. So expect Suddenly, uh, things are coming quickly, more quickly than you thought, more quickly than you expected. Someone say amen. But I want to talk to you about the prophetic word of the month for December. Praise God for December. <laughs> Woo! For the month of December. Praise the Lord Jesus. Woo! Shabababa. <clears throat> There's a wonderful Jewish feast holiday in this month of December, and it is Hanukkah. Someone say Hanukkah. Okay. So of course, the pagans have to make a knockoff. Like you know, when you got a Gucci knockoff, when you got a handbag knockoff, the pagans have to do a knockoff of the original. And the original holiday of December of this month. Is Hanukkah. Someone say Hanukkah. Okay, Lord, I pray. The fire of God. Shoo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Shara Baba. So, so, this month, has the very important holiday called Hanukkah. Some say Hanukkah. So we're going to talk a lot about Hanukkah. But I'm going to give you three prophetic points of what God is doing and what you can expect in this month of December. Some say December. Right now, we are in the Hebrew month of Kislev. Some say Kislev. K-I-S-L-E-V. Kislev. Of course, God moves all the time. But He moves According to his times, according to his feasts, they're called God's appointed times and seasons. So God moves according to his appointed times and seasons. So this month in Hebrew is Kislev. Someone say Kislev. K-I-S-L-E-V. Kislev. And so Kislev um, comes from the original root word Kissel, which means fool. Okay, F-O-L, F-O-O-L, fool. So Kislev comes from the original word fool, okay? Which means that in this month, God is using the foolish things of the earth to confound the wise. And, and stick with me, hear me, because this month of December and this month of Kislev is a month of miracles. Profound, sudden miracles that's going to baffle people, that's going to confound them, astound them. This is a month of miracles, like the real miracles. Like, I'm not just talking about a headache that's healed, a backache that's healed. No, like cancers being healed, tumors being dissolved, body parts, limbs growing back to normal. Like, this is a month of miracles that's going to make you go, wow. Someone say, wow, okay? So this is a month of Kis, uh, Kislev, and Kislev in Hebrew, uh, in the original word, is Kisso, which means fool, okay? Uh, it also means Kessel, which means flank, okay? And these are very unusual words, right? So flank. And of course, flank, uh, it, in a sense, has to do with being sideswiped. I'm, I'm reading the definition here. <clears throat> uh, it means to be like side-swiped from the side, okay? Shoo! So, 
This is a month where God's going to sideswipe the enemy. This is a month where God's going to fool the enemy. God is going to raise up the foolish things of the earth and confound the wise. Are right, you following me? Kislev. Some say Kislev. So this is a Hebrew month of Kislev, and and which means to flank and to and fool. Okay. God's about to baffle fools. God's about to. Whew, my gosh. Woo! <clears throat> and of course we know again December is the last month of the Gregorian calendar 12th. Kingdom virtue, expect kingdom, governmental rule. God is adjusting. Some say adjusting. God is adjusting the government. Now that's a good word, Pastor Ben. God is adjusting. In this month of December, God is adjusting governmental seats. God is adjusting kingdom rule. God is adjusting kingdom positions. Things are moving and shifting in this month of December, the 12th month of the Gregorian calendar of 2020. Amen. So, what is so important about this month of Kislev? All right, of course, the main important thing in this month of Kislev is Hanukkah. Some say Hanukkah. Now, I love history. Uh, I consider myself somewhat of a philanthropist because, uh, you know, I love culture. I love history. Okay. I love, uh, you know, people, sociology. Uh, but really, this month Kislev really has to do all about Hanukkah. And uh, once again, I invite you to our new Facebook challenge that I'm doing in a few weeks called Five Days of Hanukkah Miracles. I'm believing for all of you. Amen. Who receives this? I believe for all of you. For supernatural sudden miracles are going to take place in America, in your family, in your life. You're going to end this year, 2020, with a big bang. Amen. That's why things are shifting. Things are adjusting. So, in this month of Kislev, the main uh, thing that happens is Hanukkah. Now, Hanukkah is actually not... It's not the seven biblical feasts. It's not a biblical feast. Okay? Hanukkah is not a biblical feast. However, uh, meaning it, it, it was not ordained in the Torah, in the Bible by God to celebrate, to remember, and that there was an open heaven, an opening of a grace for God to meet his people at God's appointed time for God to do it again, okay? So it's not an appointed time. But the Jewish people consider it a still a, a, a important feast and holiday. Why? Because God did something supernatural, okay? So, the importance of Hanukkah, okay, we know, uh, and again, I'm going to give you three prophetic points of what you can expect in this month of December in Kislev, all right? And... In, in Hanukkah, uh, okay, let me do a little history class. Someone say, teach Pastor Ben. All right, in Hanukkah, literally uh, years ago, uh, when, when strangers, when foreigners overtook uh, Israel, okay? Strangers overtook Israel. So therefore, the Jewish people had no freedom of worship. They had no no rights. The Jewish people literally lived um, under uh, what is it? The Persians or the Medes? The Syrians? I believe it was the Syrians. Uh, they literally lived in a tyrancy under the Syrian Greek army. Thank you, Lord. Under the Syrian Greek army. Okay. And so they had no freedom of religion. They had no freedom of rights, which means that they could not have freedom of of wealth of commerce of economy okay so they were restricted constricted by governor newsom by a fake false hoax covid19 they were restricted by the syrian greek empire and here's the jewish people god's people god's covenant people all right they have the temple they have their own ways of worshiping yahweh jehovah the creator but then here's a Syrian Greek empire that's controlling them, taking away their rights, desecrating the temple, making them eat food that's sacrificed to idols, causing them to be restricted and limited in their worship. And it's just restricting, restricting, restricting. And so 
pretty much the Jewish people at that time. They're no longer the Jewish people. And what's happening, the Syrian Greek Empire, they're interbreeding with the Jews, which means that they're slowly taking away the originality, the pure strand of the Jews, of God's people. They're intermingling, intermarrying. And as they're intermarrying, now there's false idols. Now there's idolatry, worshiping other gods, child sacrifice. Uh, you know, and so there's all these things that's happening. But there's a group of people called the Maccabees. Someone say Maccabees. Someone say, I am a big Maccabee. All right. There's a group of people called the Maccabees. And these Maccabees were zealots. Okay, they were literally like a rebellious guerrilla group. Okay, they were a group of guerrilla warfare of these militia men who still believe in the Second Amendment and the First Amendment. So they're this rebellious group who are just wild and they refuse to bow to the system. They refuse to bend to the tyranny of Governor Newsom. They refuse to be like the world, to fall into the system of uh, the Greek uh, Syrian Empire. And they're fighting, someone say fighting, they're fighting for the purity of their faith, for the purity of their nation, of their people. They're fighting for freedom, for liberation. So literally the Maccabees are known as the Jewish freedom fighters. That's a very common term in the United States, the freedom fighters. So the Maccabees are known as the Jewish freedom fighters. Okay, there's this wild olive shoot that's not taking it. Okay, they're fighting for freedom, fighting for purity, fighting for righteousness, fighting for their faith. Now, at that time, the Greek... Uh, Syrian Empire is ruled by a man named Antiochus. Now Antiochus decides to force one man, some say one, to force one man to do some evil sacrifice to their pagan god. And this one man is named Matin Yahu, okay? Matit Yahu. Matit Yahu, okay? This man is named Mati Yahu. Mati Yahu. And this one man, as Antioch is the leader, is provoking, antagonizing this one man. Have you ever felt like the enemies is picking on you? Have you ever felt like people in your workplace are picking on you? It feels like they're always being picked on. This man, Antiochus, picks on Matid Yahu, and this one man makes a decision and says, screw you, I'm not listening to you, I'm not doing this, and this one man, Matid Yahu, stands up, and all of a sudden does a revolt, does a revolution. A whole group of people, the Maccabees, begin to stand up, the people begin to fight against the system because of one man. I want to tell you right now, the power of one. That's why Kislev, this month, is known, Hanukkah, is known as the month of miracles. Because what God can do with one, He can do it for all. What God can do for one person, He will do it for everybody. As long as one person, God is looking for one person, one woman. God is looking for one group, one group of Christians, one church to refuse the tyranny, to stand up, get up, stand up, stand up for your rights. It's one person. And all of a sudden, a movement happens. A landslide takes place. There's a tipping point that begins to overflow. All it takes is one. Someone say one. It's the power of one. And I pray that you would be that one in the name of Jesus. But stay with me, people. Stay with me because it gets better. Amen. So now the Maccabees begin to revolt. But here's the thing. All right, the Maccabees, the Ju this Jewish people, they're like this band of robbers, these bandits, okay? They, they, they don't have sophisticated weapons, all right? Have you ever felt like, like uh, you know, your enemies, uh, you know, your competitors, 
They're way sophisticated. They have better equipment, better technology, better people. They've been doing it for longer. They have more skills. They're older. They're more mature. And here you are. You're like this raggedy group. And, you know, no matter the circumstances, as long as you are with God, you are a majority. You will overcome. And so here's the Maccabees. You know, they got these, again, the foolish things of the earth. Kiss left, Kessel, Kissel. The foolish things of the earth. And here's, here's uh, the, these group of Maccabees. And as they're warring, literally, and here's the story of Hanukkah. As they're fighting against the tyranny, and as they're pushing back the Syrian Greek army, they're fighting for the faith, fighting for the temple. As they're fighting and pushing back, all of a sudden, they only have one jar of oil. I'm telling you, the power of one. One jar of oil. Stick with me, people. Again, I'm sharing the story, and then I'm going to go into points, okay? They have one jar of oil. And they light it up. And all of a sudden, this one jar of oil, which should have lasted for one day only. This one day's worth of oil supernaturally manifests and lasts for eight days long until they win the battle of 40,000 enemies. They win this miraculous supernatural war of 40,000 warriors. I'm telling you, this is a month of miracles. This is a month of multiplication. And a Hanukkah in Kislev in December, this is a month where God takes the foolish things and confounds the wise. God takes the little and he multiplies it. God takes the small and he makes it strong. You may have felt diminished. You may have felt defeated. You may be a little sad, alone, depressed, feeling lonely. Oh, Pastor Ben, boo-hoo, woo with me. I've been going through some warfare. I feel alone. I feel lonely. Nobody cares about me. You're probably right about that. But you may feel diminished. Like all you have is a little measly jar of one day's worth of oil. But God's going to take the little and he's going to multiply it. God's going to take the small and he's going to make it grow. God is saying in this month of December Kislev, I am pruning, I am cutting, I am putting away the fats, the excess, the minors, I'm putting those extra things away, and I'm dialing down the focus into the most potent, whew, the most potent realm, God is saying, you don't need them, you need me, you don't need the many, you just need a few, you don't need 30,000, all you need is 300, Gideon. And in this month, God is focusing on the one day's worth. Because God's about to multiply. In this month of Kislev, in the month of Hanukkah, in the month of December, in the last month of 2020, God is about to multiply. I'm telling you. I know many of you, you've gone through some heartache the last few weeks with the nonsense of voter fraud of the elections. And there's all this hoopla. Still, God is saying... I have brought things low. I'm cutting away. I'm bringing it low so I can begin to multiply. I have brought you back so I can launch you. I've made you to be small. I've humbled you so I can lift you up. This is a month where God took the foolish things and he defeated the enemies. Someone say amen. I'm telling you, God is about to take the five loaves and two fish and multiply to feed a nation. God's about to take your one little stone and defeat a mega Goliath. God's about to use two little spies and use them to lead and be the Joshua generation. I'm telling you, who am I talking to right now? In this month of December, in this month of Kislev, in this month of Kissel, God is taking the small and the foolish things and he's going to make it multiply. Someone say amen. So here are my three prophetic points for you in this month of December. Are you ready? I have to share the whole history and the whole story. I love this story so much because it's so dear. I consider myself a Maccabee. All right. And uh, 
let, I'm going to give you three prophetic points for this year. For, excuse me, for this month. Three prophetic points for this month of December. Amen? Someone say amen. Number one. All right? Number one, menorah. Someone say menorah. Okay. Remember, the oil was burning in the lamp. The lamp is the menorah. The people of God won the war because they had vision. What does the menorah stand for? The menorah and the star of David, those two are the greatest symbols in all of Ju Judaism to all the Jewish people. The star of David and the menorah. So the menorah is a lampstand. Do you not know that you are a menorah? You are a lampstand. In the book of Revelations, Jesus talks to the church and says, I will remove your lampstand, okay, that is a menorah. Jesus says that in this season, I'm increasing your vision. I'm increasing your visibility. I'm increasing your stature and your stability. God is about to light up the menorahs, the dead places he's going to light up. The places that have been quiet and asleep, he's about to light up. The menorah is about to burn bright and ablaze with justice and righteousness. God is saying, you feel like your light is small, but stop hiding under a bushel, but put it upon a place because you are a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. God's about to remove some things so that you can shine bright, so that you can give vision, so that you can give courage. God is saying, I am anointing you with a new oil. I'm putting a new oil on the inside of you where you're going to multiply, where you're going to expand. Man, your vision is going to be clear. 2020, your vision is going to enhance and people will see and you will win the war. God is increasing your menorah, your vision. Someone say amen. In this month of December, someone say menorah, lampstand. There's a new authority. There's a new vision. There's a new visibility. There's a new anointing. There's a new stand. There's a new stance that God's giving you. In this month of December. Amen. Someone say, my one day's worth is multiplying into eight. And what does eight stand for? Again, eight in the Hebrew stands for new beginnings. My gosh. So this month of December is a month of new beginnings. Hanukkah is a month of new beginnings. Eight also stands for out of this world. God is saying in this month of Kislev of December... I am bringing what is out of this world into this world. Eight in Hebrew stands for new beginnings. Remember, the Jewish boys were circumcised, are circumcised on the eighth day of their, uh, after they're born. On the eighth day, eight stands for circumcision. Eight stands for covenant. Eight stands for new beginning. Eight stands for new creation. Eight stands for covenant. Uh, on the eighth day, it means out of this world. There's a sign on you, on your body, that you're not of this world. You're in the world, but you're not of it. You're different. And God is saying, in this month, I'm releasing new beginnings. I'm releasing new glory. I'm, I'm releasing an oil on the inside of you. I'm about to multiply the small and the little and rakande, where you are going to be so distinguished that you're going to be out of this world. Bananas, bonkers. If you're receiving the same amen. If you're with me today, give me some hearts and likes. The second... The second prophetic point you can expect in this month is Maccabees. Okay, now, I know these are some very unusual words. These are not your regular English words that I'm giving you as prophetic points. But Maccabees, someone say Maccabees. Someone say, I am a Mac. Someone say, I is a big Maccabee. All right, so Maccabee is a group of people that they're considered rebels, but they started a revolution. They, they stood up for righteousness and for the integrity of their faith. And they pushed back uh, the demonic evil tyranny and control and manipulation of Jezebel of the, the Syrian Greek Empire. And they, they sacrificed, gave their lives to preserve the Jewish nation, to preserve the Jewish people. And when you are like a Maccabee, you will be bold. When you are like a Maccabee, you will move in righteousness. That's why 
even for myself and so many people like Sean Foyt, Dr. Ronnie Howard Brown, because we've stood up, Cheon, Apostle Papa Cheon, because we have stood up against the system and said, we're not of it, we're different, we're going to fight for truth, fight for our future, fight for our families, fight for the real thing. And because we stood up, there's attacks, there's persecution, but in the midst of that, God is pre, uh, proud of us, God is pleased. The Bible says we're... We are not like those who shrink back from faith. We don't shrink back. We advance. We are not like those scaredy cats, those fear mongers that shrink back. We advance no matter what. And so there's a, there's a zeal. The righteous are as bold as land. So I believe in this season there's a Maccabee anointing. There's a Maccabee spirit that God's given to his people. Will you be a leader? Will you stand up? Will you... Go after. Will you be a go-getter? Or will you keep complaining? Keep being a victim of the spirit. Keep being a victim of the day. Or will you stand up and do something about it? Be a Maccabee. Say no. Say no to drugs. Dare. Say no. You need to just stand up. Say, devil, get behind me, Satan. You're not allowed here in this place. Amen. A Maccabee anointing. I'm telling you, God's bringing you into a company of Maccabees. God's bringing you into a company of people. That are willing to fight together. Not fight each other. Fight together for the cause of the gospel of Jesus. Number three. The third prophetic point. That you can expect in this month of December. Is miracles. Someone say milagros. En español. La palabra para miracles. Esta milagros. This is a month of miracles. Miracles, miracles, miracles. I'm telling you, you're going to eat miracles. You're going to drink miracles. You're going to order miracles. You're going to walk in miracles. You're going to breathe miracles. You're, you're going to have miracles in your hair. You're going to have miracles coming out of your pores. You're going to have miracles. You know, you're going to talk miracles. You're going to, everything is miraculous. Miracle, miracle, miracles. Do you believe in miracles? This month is a month of miracles. My gosh, I see those chains falling. Money miracles, health miracles, family miracles, focus miracles, vision miracles, personal miracles, corporate miracles, miracles in the government, miracles in the elections, miracles, 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 miracles. Ho! This is a month of miracles. But why would you receive miracles if you're not willing to stand up and move forward in boldness like a Maccabee? Remember, Peter did not walk on water until he stepped out of the boat. Step out like Peter, like the Maccabees, and watch God cause you to walk on miracles. Someone say miracles. This is a month of miracles, people of God. You're going to defeat your enemies. Amen. You're going to multiply in finances. Amen. You're going to skim down, but you're going to grow and expand. Amen. You're going to have miracles in your family. Family salvations. People are being saved. The prodigals are returning. Amen. We're going to see miracles in the governmental realm because it's the 12th month of 2020. 12th said for government, kingdom, administration. Amen. This is a month of miracles. Amen. Remember, this is a month where, where God's releasing blessings. Okay. You're going to plunder the enemies. Amen. This is a month of miracles. You're going to shine bright like the menorah, have greater influence. You're going to have greater visibility. You're about to influence more, but God's about to stretch and expand you. Amen. This is a month of miracles. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. This is a month of miracles. Amen. The menorah can stand for promotion. The Maccabees can stand for uh, protection. And the miracles stand for provision. Or how about this? The menorah, which actually burned for eight days, not seven. The menorah is typically seven, but the Hanukkah 
menorah lamp is eight candles, not seven candles. And what does eight stand for? So the menorah, the first prophetic point you can expect in this month of December. In December, there will be a menorah which equals new beginnings. Eight candles in the menorah, new beginnings. December is a month of new beginnings. Number two, the Maccabees. This is a month of new boldness. Okay, the Maccabees were bold. So this is a month of new boldness. And then miracles. Some say miracles. Number three, miracles is a month of new blessings. Okay, listen, you've gone through testing to receive blessings. You've been trimmed and slimmed down so that you can expand and grow. You feel like all you have is one day's worth of oil. But God's about to do something miraculous and supernatural with this. I'm telling people of God, bring your little to God. Bring your few to Jesus. Bring your outdated. Bring your irrelevant. Bring, bring your pain. Bring your offense. Bring your worry, your concern. Bring that little thing, that thing, that thing. Bring that thing to Jesus. And watch what he's going to do. It's the power of one. Woo! Let me pray with you, people of God. And I thank you right now for liking, commenting, sharing. Do Give us some hearts and likes, okay? Like your heart. <clears throat> or if you're a hater, give me some anger faces. But this month of December is going to be a month of miracles. I'm telling you, this month of December, Kislev Hanukkah. Gifts, blessings, promotion, provision, protections coming. And this month, God is going to make your enemies mad. God is going to make your enemies mad. Hallelujah. Someone say, I will multiply. Someone say, I will have victory. Someone say, I will defeat my enemy. Someone say, I will be bold. Someone say, I will take a stand. Someone say, I will. Let me pray with y'all as we bring this to a close. Amen. Father, I thank you for every single person watching now on this live. I pray, Father, that you would anoint them in this month of December. I pray for miracles in this month of December. I pray, Father, that you will release Hanukkah blessings, Hanukkah miracles, that you will release the spirit of multiplication. I heard God saying, even in the month of December, I'm anointing you with boldness. I am anointing you to take a stand and to rise and to do unusual things. There's a new beginnings coming to you. Someone say new beginnings. There's new beginnings coming to you. New boldness and new blessings coming to you. Father, I pray for Hanukkah miracles upon your people. Families to be saved. That you would end 2020 with a big bang. Are you ready for miracles? Are you ready? I'm talking to you. Are you ready for miracles? If you're ready for miracles, someone say amen. Someone say December is a month of Hanukkah miracles. People of God, this is Pastor Ben. Thank you for joining, watching. Once again, I invite you to our Hawaii conference coming very soon. Number two, I invite you. Listen. Did you know that I actually have a group mentorship, okay? We have a group mentorship, and I, I want you to join our group mentorship, okay? There is a monthly subscription fee for the group mentorship, but your life will be blessed and changed forever. You'll be more connected to the DNA and the anointing of this ministry, and there's real mentorship, real discipleship taking place. It's called 7M Glory Equip. Okay, so I invite you, join us, okay? 7M Glory Equip. And once again, people of God, uh, I am doing a free Facebook challenge called Five Days of Hanukkah Miracles, okay? This is Pastor Ben here. Love you, bless you. December is going to be an incredible month. Have a great Thanksgiving weekend. I'm thankful for all of you. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to be alive, uh, to be a minister of your gospel, and to... Love on your people, even through Facebook and social media and YouTube, and to continue to be a voice. We're humbled. We're grateful. We thank God for all of you. Thank you, everybody, for logging on. Amen. 
Hallelujah. And listen, uh, I just feel this right now. Alana, I'm going to need your help here. I feel this right now. Listen, all of you watching right now, you if you receive this word, if you receive this word, like you're like, whoa, Pastor Ben, this word for December, Hanukkah miracles, the Maccabees and Rome, you receive this word. I want you to sow into this word right now. I want you to sow into this word. Uh, Alana, I want you to put in the link right there. Don't leave, okay? If you made it this far, you've been fed, you've been blessed, you received, you're an expectation. I want you to add your faith to it. Honor the word of God in this moment. And I want to invite you to sow, okay? I want you to sow. I want you to give. I want you to partner with this prophetic word, okay? So here is the link for you to give and sow into this word of December, people of God. My gosh. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to sow into this word. Hallelujah. And you can just pin that right there. Pin it right there. I want you to sow into that word. And uh, hallelujah. Amen. Vanessa, seat of honor. Praise God. Yes. We'll send to cash out. Thank you, Marilyn. And if you're going to make a commitment to give, I want you to comment. Miracles. Okay? If you make a pledge commitment to give right now into this word, I want you to comment below. Miracles. Amen? Someone comment miracles. Praise God. Wow, Jesus. Thank you, child of most high. Blessings to you. Jen, JM, blessings. Alana, blessings. <laughs> Ooh, Jeanette Carter, blessings. Don Marie, blessings. John Ben, blessings to you. Marilyn, blessings to you. DD Moss, blessings to you. I've been praying for you, DD. Ivana, blessings. Sue Sanchez, blessings. Someone say miracles. Come on. Amen. That's right, Susie. Where have you been? We've missed you at church. Kelly Bailey, blessings to you, miracles to you, praise God. Rabande, and this word of the month, December, has been a little bit longer than my usual prophetic words of the month go, but uh, I have to give a lot more history and teaching today. Carmela, blessings to you. Stephanie Grace, blessings to you. Michelle Slocum, blessings to you. Ho! Mandarake, Rabande, Lalalabonde, Kandike, Rabruska. Receive the harvest and sowing is on the way. Amen. Yes. Yeah, we pray for Jim, for the fire of the Holy Ghost. Jim and Cheyenne, touch them, bless them, heal them. Pray for miracles in their lives and their bodies in the name of Jesus. Carlos Summer. Amen. Miracles. Miracles in the name of some say miracles. Manda ke robonde, rabande kande de de darabosa. Hallelujah. Zavande rabakaye. Jandra la la la. Some say miracles. Some say miracles in my life. Tina Parker blesses you. Some say miracles in my life. Miracles of my vision, miracles of my influence, miracles of my finances, miracles of my health, miracles of my family, miracles of my ministry, miracles of my city, miracles of my country, miracles. I'm telling you, you're going to bleed, sweat, tear miracles. There's going to be so many miracles that you're just going to be, it's like you're, you're almost going to be sick of miracles because there's so many that's just going to bombard you. I prophesy that in the name of Jesus. As a man of God, I declare it that this is a season of open heavens and miracles in your life. Sharona Spees, amen. Mandana Lalabande, Keira Bruska. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Well, God bless you, everybody. Thank you for watching. Log in on. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel, Benlam Global. All right, this is Pastor Ben. Thanks for joining today. I'm excited. I'm telling you, I'm excited. For the month of December. I'm so excited. Amen. God bless you. Love you. I hope to see you today at Friday Church. Or see you soon. Blessings. And I'll be on Facebook Live sooner than later. That's a promise. Blessings.